Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Welcome to the Forsaken Westerns. Coming up next, we've got the pilot episode of the Western television series that never launched. The title of this show is Tumbleweed. The title of this episode is Baron of Purgatory. It's from 1959 and it stars Richard Treader and Gary Gray. Sit back, relax, kick your boots up, and enjoy this. And we'll see you after the show. This is Benson. The candle is for Johnny. Johnny? Has something happened to him? Didn't Father Francisco tell you? He left home two weeks ago to ride with the Pedrowski gang. Baron of Purgatory. Why should he want to do a thing like that? You know how Johnny always dreamed of adventure. He hated being poor. I've heard so many stories about the Baron. He used to tell me about them. The Baron's elegant way of living, his daring, the gold he gave to the poor. I never took it seriously. Johnny's 19, Miss Benson. Old enough to make his own decisions. Known him since he was a boy, Tumbleweed. He's always looked up to you. Please, please, bring him home. I'll try. for you, Torero. Pick it up. Back on your horse.
found him in the Dragoons this morning. His pack train had been wiped out. He needs a doctor. Is there one in town? Anyway, for him it is too late. Only God can help him now. Los hombres. What's he saying? Los hombres nos atacaron sin piedad. Sin piedad. He say he and his compadres were ambushed and shot down without mercy. ¿Quiénes fueron? El hombre en uniforme militar. En uniforme militar. He described the leader of the bandidos as Baron Pedrowski. I'll ask him if there was a young man with the gang. Blonde, about 19, good looking. Enough to hang Kudrowski. You going after him? No. I leave the Baron alone. He does not bother my town. It is that simple. Your name, Senor, for my official report. Tumbleweed Jones. Where can I find the Baron? Follow the main road north. The biggest hacienda will be his. Naturally. Thanks. Be very careful, my friend. Evening. Strangers are not welcome here. Get back on your horse. Now, just a minute. I rode a long way to see Baron Podrowski and tend to talk to him. What is the meaning of this? We had a slight difference of opinion as to whether I was going to talk to you or not. You should have listened to Nowak. Johnny, show him out. Tumbleweed. You know this man? Yeah, I know him. He's Tumbleweed Jones. What are you doing here? I came to take you home. Any objections, Baron? My men are free to come and go as they choose. Well, I'm not leaving. Seems to me you have your answer, Senor Tumbleweed. But allow me to offer you the hospitality of our hacienda. I am the Baroness Alisa Pivrowski. And this is my husband, Baron Joseph. Johnny, have Maria bring another cup for our guest. to discourage Johnny. Send him away. Tell him you don't want him around. You've got a lot of men. He doesn't mean anything to you. Oh, but he does, senor. We are so very fond of Johnny. He's so attentive. I, I don't know how we would get along without him. Last time I saw Johnny's mother, she was in a mission chapel praying for her son. Stop it! It's home, doesn't it? She knows once you break the law, you can't go back. The law is for the stupid and the weak. A man must have courage and audacity to live the way he wants to. The Bible says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Sort of leaves you out in the cold, doesn't it, mister? Ah, uh, it all depends on one's beliefs. Coming with me, Johnny? No. 
Thank you, Baroness, for everything. Just one more thing, Baron. If you take Johnny with you on any of your raids, I'll kill you. You're only one man, senor. Do you think it was wise to threaten the Baron last night? You sure have an efficient information service. How'd you find out about it? I told you this is my town. It is my business to know what goes on. You are either a very brave man, senor, or a fool. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't like the spot I'm in, but I've got a job to do, and I have to do it the only way I know how. Good morning, Johnny. Up kind of early, aren't you? You're leaving town, Tumbleweed. The Baron's orders. Reckon I should congratulate you on your first assignment. If you make good, maybe the Baron will let you help him ambush the next pack train that comes through. We're wasting time. Let's go. You gonna let them do this to me, Torero? Isn't it uh, slightly illegal? See, si, a little. But if you remain in purgatory, I will worry about you. And when I worry, I do not eat too good. I think it is better for both of us this way. Move. Adios, amigo. Mount up and get going. And don't come back. Maybe I'm wrong wasting my time on you, Johnny. Take your friends and go on back to the Baron. Senor Tumbleweed. Did you come in to watch the show? Among other things. Hope you're not too disappointed. I'm very glad you win over my husband's men. Well, that's something to remember. Senor, I've come to talk to you about Johnny. Go ahead. In private. Please, get in. At your service. This is a very beautiful place, senor. You didn't bring me out here to discuss the scenery. You are right. The threat you made against the Baron last night, did you really mean it? I meant it. Why, would it make any difference to you if something happened to him? Of course. He gives me all the things I've ever wanted. Well, I guess that's a good enough reason for you. You do not like me. Let's just put it this way, Baroness. I don't trust you. You should. I've been thinking. Perhaps I will have the Baron send Johnny away after all. Why the sudden change of your heart? Does that answer the question? Johnny goes. You stay. 
Are you, uh, are you sure the Baron would like this arrangement? Oh, I can handle him. Yeah, well, uh, maybe I can't. The Baron is a very jealous man, senor. It pleases him very much when other men admire his pretty young wife. But they must not touch. Now, you're a nosy old coot, aren't you? See, si, amigo. Can't figure Elisa out, Torero. She has the face of an angel, heart of a moneylender. I know. She would like to forget it. But she is my daughter. I'm sorry, I didn't... No, mean... no, no, it's all right, senor. It's the truth. Alisa has always been very selfish and filled with big ambition. I try to tell myself it is only because she has no mother. And me, me, she twists me around her little finger. When I open my eyes to what has happened, it is too late. Then she married with the Baron Padrowski, and he give her everything. She does not care that he is a bandido. I'm beginning to get the full picture now. You used to have the reputation of being a good lawman, Torero. What happened to your self-respect? I love my little one, senor. As long as she is happy, that is all I care about. You must not see her again, Senor Tumbleweed. You will leave Purgatory in the morning. I'll decide that. Your friend does not seem to be here tonight, Johnny. Have you seen this man who calls himself Tumbleweed Jones? I think maybe he's asleep by now, Baron. I see him go to the hotel a little while ago. You should be more cheerful, Johnny. Tonight you will find excitement and adventure. That's what you've been wanting, isn't it? Sure. I guess I'm just a little nervous. I've never been on a raid before. I, I gotta get used to the idea. Don't worry. It won't be long before you'll be just like the rest of us. There is not very much to look forward to.
came here to warn me, Baron. Said she overheard you and Novak planning to kill me sometime tonight. While we were talking, someone fired a shot through the window. I'd give anything if this hadn't happened, Torero. I am the one to blame, senor. No more killings, Senor Pedrowski. Take your bandidos and ride out of Purgatory. And don't come back. You heard the sheriff? Get out of town. It's only a flesh wound. He'll be all right in a few days. How about it, Johnny? You still want to follow the Baron's footsteps? Let's go home, Tumbleweed. So long, Torero. Vaya con Dios, amigos. Bye, Torero. That was an enjoyable episode. This was early in Richard Treder's career, but Gary Gray by this time was an old hand at films. He'd been in several westerns, including westerns with Randolph Scott, Robert Mitchum, and William Holden, and many more. He had started when he was three years old. And his film career went for a good while, but just like many child stars, when he grew up, he found it difficult to find work. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Forsaken Westerns. We hope you'll join us again here next time. My name's Bob Terry. Have a great day.